So this is why we have a PTR and it's incredibly important, hopefully if the Diablo developers watch this video, that we get a PTR moving forward for every season. I fully understand that it's an incredible amount of work for you all to do for little to no gain, but I do think that overall the benefit to the player base will vastly outweigh the negative uh, net revenue or uh, the gains that the game has season to season. And let me explain why. Uh, most notably, there are some really interesting tempering effects that they've added to the game and they beg the question, what do unique items do in this day and age when we have these options available? Most notably, I was playing around with Azure Wrath. Azure Wrath is recently changed over so that the Necromancer gets to use it, which is incredibly cool. Now, sadly, because of the way that uniques work and how tempering works, Azure Wrath's stats will never compare to even a vaguely decently rolled legendary weapon that has two tempered abilities on it. Like, look at this piece of gear that has 10 attack speed and some non-physical additive damage and some core additive damage and some damage on Tuesdays additive damage. Whereas you could just get my weapon right here with over 130... Or you could just get my weapon here with 138 intelligence, 1,000 max life, 81.6 crit damage on top of 205 additive bone spirit crit damage. Oh, and my bone spirit is another 50% radius increase. But that's not really what we're here to complain about. It was most notably the lucky hit effect of Azure Wrath that I wanted to test out. Azure Wrath is cool that it has a 20% chance to proc Freeze. Freeze is a very powerful crowd control effect in this game, and that you then deal cold damage to targets affected by it. And if you saw my most recent video with the super bugged Ebon Piercer, it turns out that all four of the different projectiles when you cast Blight can all trigger lucky hit chance effects multiple times per second per bolt. So let me just go ahead and throw on a different example of this, just again for people who didn't see it. But we are now trying to compare Azure Wrath's ability to deal 13,000 damage and stun targets versus my double the chance ability to proc 21,000 shadow damage. So when I do my Blight Ebon Piercer, the damage over here ticking multiple times per second on the target that's that lucky hit chance to deal 21,000 damage. Now, the reason why you would still use something like Azure Wrath is that crowd control effect. And because Ebon Piercer is applying lucky hit chance at like 100% coefficient per bolt, per tick on the target, and they can all hit them simultaneously, I thought that Azure Wrath may pull ahead in a very interesting way. And the fact that you could basically of like instantaneously stagger a boss with this incredibly powerful crowd control effect. So I just wanted to test out how efficient that would be on the target. So let me just remove a couple different things and let me go ahead and put on Azure Wrath. And then we are going to use Blight again with 100% lucky hit chance coefficient to proc per second per damage per missile on the target. All four of them are going to hit. And you want to go ahead and look at their stagger bar right here. And uh, let's let's see how often this thing procs. Already all the damages run out and you'll notice that they didn't gain any stagger whatsoever. Now that's pretty interesting because again, now that's pretty interesting because while the 20% chance to proc here is half as strong as the 40% chance to proc here, let me just show you how often this will proc if I spam blight that often against the target very quickly. I just need to get myself some additional essence here. And then again, look at all the little damage instances over here per second. And I will be spamming Blight. And we got all of them up there. And you'll notice a lot of proc instances over here, right? So if we were assuming on average that 40% is only twice of 20%, you'd expect to see half as many procs from Azure Wrath. But that's kind of the problem. Uh, for whatever reason, Azure Wrath isn't procking off of damage over time effects. Uh, let's use Decompose as a really good example here. And again, I just want to show you what it looks like when I normally use Decompose. So Decompose is a very interesting shadow damage over time effect in that it has a very high lucky hit chance, but it can only proc lucky hit effects once per second. So it can either proc on the first image instance or the second one. If it procs on the first one, it can't proc on the second one. So if I sit here and I channel, you'll see that given enough time, we just saw 70,000 damage. Uh, one more, just give me one more here, game. There we go, we got another 70,000 damage there. 
The interesting part about Decompose, though, is that it's also bugged. If you watched my video, I think it was either season three, it might have been season two, but I found out that you can actually double the effect of Lucky Hit proc chance of Decompose, because while channeling, it can only happen once per second, you can spam the skill. And when you spam cast the skill, it counts each instance of damage as its own internal timer. So you basically double your chances of proccing Lucky Hit. Over that small amount of time, I had already triggered it three times, as opposed to the multiple seconds of channeling where I'd only procced it twice. Now again, I could sit here and do the math for you. You could just go back and watch the video previously. But Decompose has this cool ability with it. So I thought, hey, maybe it's something with Blight. Maybe Blight's the problem. Maybe Blight isn't working. I know. I'll use the ridiculously high double lucky hit chance bug of decompose to be able to apply the stagger to the boss. Now, let me go ahead and spam this for you and you just go ahead and keep your eyes on that stagger bar. Are you convinced yet? It's awkward amounts of like full on staring. I am choosing to blink like a normal human would. Uh, I just don't blink a lot. That's maybe a TMI but I get told all the time that I'm often staring into people's souls and I wish I wasn't, uh, but yeah. So there you go, it doesn't work. Uh, but hey, you know what? Maybe it's just darkness skills. Maybe darkness skills is the problem. Let me go ahead and use Reap, which isn't a damage over time effect, but does do shadow damage is a darkness skill. Let's go ahead and use Reap. And if I were to swing my weapon at this guy for a little bit, it has a much lower lucky hit chance than any of the other skills that I've showed you, but given enough time, enough fapping about, if I were to just like be patient for a quick second. Come on, game. Do I have it equipped? I do. It took a thousand times, but there you go. We applied stagger. And the reason why we applied stagger, you can kind of see the little like ice particles shoot out of it. It's because we applied freeze to the target. Now, the reason why that took so long is because Reap has a 20% chance. This has a 20% chance. So it's a one fifth chance of 20%, meaning that's a less than 4% chance for that to trigger. But it isn't just darkness skills in general that are bugged. It is very specifically shadow damage over time. Let's use Blighted Corpse Explosion, which at least has a little bit higher lucky hit chance than Reap does, but the benefit here is I can stack 10 of them on the target. And uh, if I were to sit here and eat up all these corpses and just permanently cast Corpse Explosion until I ran out, and then wait for all the damage instances to stop, you'll see that but -da -but, but but we're hating it. It doesn't trigger Azure Wrath. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. I, I don't know why this particular item doesn't work with damage over time effects. I'm not sure if this is some holdout from how it was coded with the Barbarian so that it wouldn't work on Channeled Whirlwind or something. I don't know. I honestly don't have enough knowledge about how Lucky Hit was working with Barbarian before. It is absolutely a bug. Luckily, I'm going to submit this over to the developers so that they are aware. But if you're looking to test out Azure Wrath or other interesting things, and they, for whatever reason, just weren't seeming to work, it's not you. You're not crazy. At the very least, this one is confirmed to not work with shadow damage over time effects, whether it be Blight, Decompose, Ultimate Shadow Bone Storm, or Blighted Corpse Explosion. Just wanted to put that out to people so you don't waste your time testing it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you found it entertaining or at the very least informational. If you're new here, consider subscribing to the channel. If you aren't new here and you've just been returning, go ahead and toss a like onto this video. Thank you so much. I deeply appreciate it. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.